folks are doing. Yeah. You got one at least, huh? Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. Always fun. Catch one or twenty, it's still fun. Yeah, yeah. You know, a beautiful day out here today. So can't ask for a nice <laughs> I was here fishing yesterday morning. Yeah. And there's a lot of little bass over here by this slope. If you drop a little yeah. small hook down with a worm, you can just catch catch those one after another. And then out here we're doing better on the macro. Yeah. So what are you guys using? Little strips of squid? Yeah. 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 Yep. He said, put some garlic powder on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny because mackerel, you get, sometimes they're not biting real heavy. So a little strip right. of squid will work really great. And then sometimes you get, uh, you know, where they're in a mac attack. Yeah. And yeah. You, every hook is filled up and almost yeah, yeah. any anything works. Especially pieces of mackerel. They, they love pieces of mackerel. Yeah. So, um, I was fishing yesterday. I went down to Coronado Pier and... Um, it was real slow fishing, but I, 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 I was bringing my line back in, uh, actually using worms because I was trying to catch some uh, bass. And nice size mackerel wow. hit. I wasn't expecting it. It just was following the shiny sinker up, I think, basically. Most of these people are all fishing for uh, mackerel. Fishing for mackerel? Yeah. They're fishing for anything. Anything that'll bite. Yeah. That's the best way to go sometimes. I heard you over, over heard you saying bass float over there. Yeah, if you have a uh, like a, a couple of just small hooks, yeah. size say small size say six uh, size eight, yeah, and a little piece of worm, uh -huh. uh, drop it down between this float, yeah, right next to the float. Uh -huh. I did that for about an hour yesterday. Got about a dozen bass. Yeah. They're not big. They don't have any worms, but I got some of this gold. That might work, I don't know. <laughs> oh, so you, you put it down? Drop it down to the bottom, yeah, right between yeah. the float and the, uh, well, and the pier here. Okay. And, uh, that yeah. might, you know. But like I said, they're not big, most of them are under a foot. Yeah. They gotta be 14 inches to keep. Well, you're all set up. You got the uh, shade and everything, huh? <laughs> How's the fishing? Are you good? I got the battery on the one. Well, I still want it. What are you trying for? Trying to. Edit. You need it. That's what I kind of shot earlier. Yeah. They're out there. He was running around like crazy. Any size for it? Uh, decent, and then done. He got it up to the thing and it oh. went. <laughs> I saw one yesterday, I was out down to the pier down in Coronado and this guy caught a, uh, what's called a striped uh, guitar fish. Oh, nice. Rear rare, pretty rare actually, more like Baja, which is mm -hmm. about a long. And he was showing me, actually showed me a picture, showed me a picture. Oh wow. That was a uh, 62 pound uh, soup fin shark he caught there two weeks ago. I caught a the, the guy, gentleman up there has a picture of some gentleman catching a monster sheep head over here. <laughs> yeah, right here in the corner. Kids fishing tournament. We just had one up in Marin County. Oh, had fine. About 60 kids and took them out and loaner rods and free hot dog lunch and yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. And they caught a lot of fish. Very nice. So I love to see the kids out fishing. Yeah. You having fun? Here. Yep. That's what it's about. That's you caught right. any fish yet? No. But no. you're going to, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> we want to know that. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we just got out here, so oh, well, good hope, luck. Hoping that, uh, yeah, hoping that uh, something's biting out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been fishing about 60 years in the piers, and this is one of the first piers in San Diego I fish. I oh, always wow. enjoy coming back. I live in Fresno. But okay. I love coming back down here, and we're doing some. Is your rod set up? Yeah. I like that. That's pretty cool. You must fish this pier a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Made it for like this pier. Like 12 years ago. 12 years ago. Maybe Is that right? Yeah, I told him that uh, 60 years ago when I first moved to San Diego, this is one of the first piers I fished back in like 62, long it's time the, ago. Uh, wood, yeah, it was wood different. Right? You know, they rebuilt this in 1990, you know, changed it a little bit. Yeah. But uh, I have some I have some things for fishing the piers, but I don't have some of the guys on my website, they're always arguing what, what's a good, uh, you know, thing build. So you, you get the right idea. It looks like pretty easy, pretty easy to make. 
Yeah, I actually like a tutorial on uh, YouTube. Do you? What's your name? Or how would how would people see it? What? Uh, uh, Ramil Fishing. R A M I L Fishing. Did you get that? <laughs> the tutorial on how to make this. Yeah, okay. My guys are always asking. Yeah, even has <laughs> ideas. Where, where I bought them. Oh. Home Depot. Even oh. the price. Well, that's that's good. If you're going to have a tutorial, you need all the information. Yeah. How's fishing? Oh, I got some micro. You mackerel? Some live bait. They said somebody caught, just caught a shark. Yeah, uh, it went under the pier and broke. Oh, up. <laughs> that happens. So, how often do you fish out here? Uh, just once a month. Once a month. Every, month. Like, or twice. Every once Saturday. or twice, yeah. You could have picked a nicer day. I was here yesterday fishing, but it was a little bit, a little drizzly yesterday in the morning. So this is a beautiful day today. Well, good luck. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, you're still having fun though, right? Still fun? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you couldn't ask for a nicer day. Beautiful views. Sun's out, shining. You know, better than sitting at home in front of a TV. But, uh, I don't know where somebody is. Um, How you doing? Maybe it'll start. <laughs> Hopefully. It'll start. <laughs> going after mackerel? Anything. Anything? Yes. Well, you have a, a better choice, or no, better chance oh. if you say anything than if you just say mackerel, right? Okay. <laughs> right? I want tacos ready to go eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I'm joking. But, uh, yeah, I was here yesterday morning. There were a few fish. I caught, I, caught they, some, they catch? I caught some bass down there by the float. Oh and yeah. I went inshore by the rocks yesterday and I caught a few uh, That's little white opali. Fish, that what white fish by the rock. There, there's there's the, the guy that was there. Uh huh. He, he caught about three that white fish. Oh. Like, like Ropa. We better cut some of the name, we're from Ramona. Oh, from Ramona. <laughs> oh, you're from Ramona. Oh, you're a long ways from the ocean. I know, so we need to we need to cut something. I used to have a book about Ramona. Yeah. Ramona Mission, I think. Or yeah, Ramona. there's a, there is. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. must be fishing for mackerel. Yeah. Everybody's got their sabikis. Having any luck so far? Oh, we just got here. We just got here. Oh, got here. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. A little small strip, like yay long, narrow, like oh, strip, like a, like a shape of a fish. Mm -hmm. And it'll do better than the shrimp. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> a little breading on them and cook them or just uh, cook them like that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sometimes have a fry. Fry, yeah, yeah. fry them. I soak. And uh, it's a bit of a to bait. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good bait, yeah. Feel like you're fishing. What are you trying for, bass? Something. Something. First time actually coming out to a pier. Oh. Yeah. All right. If you have any tips, I'd be more than happy to hear them. Um, <laughs> well, you asked the right person. Oh, great. <laughs> Here, check out my website, pierfishing.com. Right. It's got 100, about 125 piers on it about a hundred different kind of fish so you catch California piers mm -hmm. and uh, tips how to each pier has a whole article about how to fish the pier so there's an article on on uh, you know Shoulder Island sure and uh, all the tips on how to fish it the fish you're gonna catch here at Shoulder Island um, probably more than you want to know actually <laughs> <laughs> got history and stuff too for sure but uh, yeah check it it's also got a message board so guys uh, can you know, they go fish and they want to report their fish. Well, check it out. And um, there's a lot of piers all along the coast. So, oh, yeah. Like San Bernardino, you come down, you get to Newport, you know, Newport down south. All those piers, Newport Balboa, San Clemente, Oceanside, you know, this pier, Crystal Pier, Ocean. I mean, there's a ton of them. Mm -hmm. So uh, check it out and enjoy. Cool. Uh, we're catching a, mainly mackerel out at the end. Um, inshore, there's some fish inshore by the rock, but you really have to have bait for that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even try. Okay. But the, usually the there's some there's some uh, grass in the water out here, like mid 
between here and the shoreline, mm -hmm. like mid in that mid area, there's a bunch of uh, eelgrass beds, yep. and that's where the uh, bass and stuff will hang out. So I guess to try to get out that way. Yeah, so like maybe a little bit like closer to where your buddy is, a little bit past that. Okay. Casting out. Uh, I'm try with one. They like you know different little artificial. So sure. I don't know what you got, but anyway. All the time and catch quite a bit of help, but never for my Peter always has a boat. Oh. Terrible fear, fear fish. Current, I put it in a drop remove. They get some off of here. Yeah, right the guy there, just had one. He did have one, but he lost it because he only had like eight pound tests or yeah. six pound tests. I had six pound. Yeah, yeah, the tide's kind of strange. But uh, a lot of bait in the water, so there should be some fish around. But unfortunately, it's also a very strong current going Yeah, on. yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I was fishing here yesterday morning. You know what you mean. This is what I love to see. All the little kids out fishing. Mm -hmm. Learning at an early age. If we don't, if we don't start them at a young age, then they'll never, then they'll never be fishing. And they'll just be, you know, cell phone kids. And I'd rather see them out at the pier, out in the sunshine, enjoying uh, fresh air and fishing and camaraderie, all that type of thing. It's a lot better for you, I think, than being on the internet and being on cell phones. So I love to see the parents bringing their kids out. Okay, we hope that you watch our peer fishing videos. We have two aims. One aim is to educate people how to be better anglers. And secondly, we hope to entertain you a little bit. Hope you enjoy these films. Watch the films. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And keep watching.